Welcome back to Granberry TV. I'm Drew Whitaker, sitting here with uh, the Sheriff for the weekly Sheriff Report. How are you today? Doing good. I brought along Captain East today. He's been busy, it seems like, here recently, so got him got him to come in today to do the Crime Stoppers Report. That's so. awesome. That's awesome. So what do we have today? Well, we don't have a whole lot going on. It's been fairly calm, so I hope it's not the calm before the storm, but anyway, it, we had the storm a couple weeks ago, and that was bad <laughs> enough, so... I think it's supposed to be getting warmer, so it's turning into summer, and I think they said that we might even hit 100 next week. So, oh, wow. I'm not looking forward to that, but uh, maybe that'll keep everybody under control because it'll be too hot to get into trouble, I guess. Sounds good. Well, we had a couple people that got into some trouble and had a, a traffic stop that yielded a marijuana arrest on the 4th of June around 9 p.m. Sheriff deputies conducted a traffic stop at 3600 block of West Oak Trail Drive. During the stop, 20-year-old male was found to be in possession of under one ounce of marijuana. Suspect was arrested and charged with possession of marijuana, less than two ounces, and that's Class B misdemeanor, and $1,500 bond was set, and he's bonded out of jail. So. Wow. It's always these guys out there that they start off with marijuana, and um, we've had some issues over the last few years with that K2, and it seems like the marijuana always leads mm -hmm. to the K2, and um, that's not legal to be sold anywhere around here. The guys, narcotics guys, had made a big bust of that here a while back, really? and um, 400 or 500 containers mm -hmm. of K2. Wow. So we're taking it off the street left and right. And what really worries me is marijuana is there's different states that are trying to legalize mm -hmm. that or have legalized mm -hmm. that, but in Texas it's still against the law, so we're going to keep on enforcing the law. But the K2, it's a, similar to marijuana in the way they use it, the way they smoke it, but what happens with that is um, it's so different the way it affects each individual that, that uses it that it'll, it'll affect them and cause uh, seizures, cause paralysis, cause a lot of different things. So it's, it's a very dangerous a drug to use. Now is it a synthetic or is it is it real marijuana or is there like No, a it's it's a synthetic. K2 is okay. a synthetic it is. version. It was originally marketed as um, incense. Oh. And somebody thought, wow, wow, I wonder if I could smoke it, I guess, and, and then I don't it know went who on does from that. there. Well, <laughs> I don't know who does that. There's people out there that that do that. So that's a that's it's not good. It you know, it doesn't it doesn't just like marijuana. I guess mm -hmm. they've what I've heard is it gives you the munchies and mm -hmm. and relaxes you and all that it kind of stuff. You up completely. But uh, the K two, it'll really it can wow. hurt you. It can hurt you bad. So we've had um, people, kids here in this county that have went to the hospital and been stayed in the hospital for a period of time because of the complications of, of using that. So anyway, just a warning out there to. We're going to be looking for it and searching it out, and and whether it's marijuana or K2, we're going to deal with it and take you to jail. So. Wow. We had a man arrested for fe felony family violence on the 29th of May at around 9.30 p.m. Hood County Sheriff deputies responded to the 5400 block of Tintop Highway in reference to a disturbance. Deputies discovered Terry Lee Sutton, 39 years old, had allegedly choked his wife, 38 years old, during an argument they were having. The victim was not seriously injured during the incident. Sutton was arrested and charged with assault family violence choking, and that's a felony three. Wow. And Bond was set at $20,000. Um, and he's still in jail, so that's not a good thing. No, it's not. I don't know why. I don't know why you would do that in the first place, to be honest, but I don't know why people would do that. Well, yeah, yeah. it beats me. I don't know, but that's that's... Part of our job is to deal with that um, out in the county when these disturbances happen, and uh, the states really crack down on the laws um, mm -hmm. to help us deal with those people. So uh, the county attorney is really <clears throat> big on the family violence, domestic violence, uh, in anything like this is a felony, so this is going to go wow. to the district court. But um, the <clears throat> misdemeanor family violence cases, um, the county attorney really wants us to crack down on a lot of that, and we're putting. Uh, they're getting stipulations put on bonds when they get out of uh, what they can and can't do to keep them from uh, redoing, it. redoing it. Yeah, yeah. and so <laughs> people don't realize that one little 
fight husband and wife kind of mm -hmm. fight or boyfriend and girlfriend type fight if they're living together like that can um, that's domestic violence and that something bad it can well it can really affect your life because um, worst case scenario is um, a husband and wife are forced by law to stay apart and even after wow. they're out of jail so if that other family member depends on somebody being there to help take care of the kids or um, just they're trying to work together to make themselves a limp living it can really complicate things and then going to court just costs a lot of money too so bonding out and going to court and hiring an attorney so more money than i have um, <laughs> yeah so people need to just if you're having problems in your marriage then work it out work it out get with a <laughs> counselor or something but try, try to work something it out. not kill each other yep so it can be it can be bad financially and, and otherwise so I know you said you had something with the Crime Stoppers. Uh, what do we have? Crime of the Week. <clears throat> Crime Stoppers needs information on a burglary that occurred at David's Supermarket in Thorpe Springs sometime during the night of Wednesday, June the 5th. Forced entry was made into the building, and the victim reported stolen approximately $100 worth of cigarettes and approximately $1,200 in damage to the building. Anyone with information on this burglary can call Crime Stoppers at 817-573-TIPS or go online at whocountycrimestoppers.com or you can send your tip in a text message to 274637 to tip 129. You will remain anonymous and if your tip leads to an arrest you could receive up to a $1,000 cash reward. Wow. Wow. Look, we need help with these things so the captain puts together um, these Crime Stoppers deals every week mm -hmm. and uh, we usually have lots of them that we could use so we, we pick the one that's uh, most frustrating to us and, and one that we really need to get out there so if you want to you can bring in more than one you know we can always put two up if you want three up yes now it's called the Crime Stoppers Crime of the Week I yeah. guess it'd be Crimes of the Week <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we there's there's help. We wow. can't be everywhere at, at once. once. I understand. I so understand. When we investigate these these cases like that, then uh, sometimes we run into some dead ends, and we need to we need, we need all the help we can we can get. So there's always somebody out there that saw something, knows something, and especially with Crime Stoppers putting money up there, a reward up that. Um, I've seen pretty good friends rat out the other guy just to mm -hmm. get that get reward. Some money. So, yeah, my bad. Uh, so whatever it takes, we need to solve these crimes. I understand. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I definitely appreciate you both coming in today. Thank you for having us. Always, anytime you want to come in, we are willing to have you on. All right. Well, I thank sure you do very appreciate much. it. I appreciate it.